magic's an important part of the world. It always has been. And if you think about it, magic flourishes uh, when society's failing. Uh, when we have wars, uh, that's when the Houdinis, the Thurston's, the Blackstones, the Kellers, they all come out when people need fantasy. They need release. Uh, and that's what's important. We're in a time in the world right now where there's a lot of bad happening and people are grasping to find fantasy. Uh, you can remember 20 years ago when things were a little bit better, all the movies you went to see were reality programs. Now, look at the blockbusters. It's Thor and Hulk and Iron Man. It's all about looking at how the good guys win out in the end. Uh, magic is exactly that. It's the good guys winning out in the end. We're creating a, a moment of fantasy. We bring them back to their childhood. Uh, we give them these moments that affect them. And that's what's important about magic. But the world really needs good magicians. Magicians who understand that uh, magic is more than the trick. We're not tricksters. Um, we're interpreters. We're storytellers. Uh, we share uh, our feelings and emotions, bear ourselves to our audience. Hopefully they get involved in it or relate to it and it changes their world and mine. I had a man, this is going back a few years, on a cruise ship, the Norwegian Star. The show was over and I went out on deck to get a breath of fresh air and he was standing there so I struck up a conversation and it went on for over four hours, well into the morning. And uh, I didn't hear from him for years. And then I got a letter from him. And he said, Sean, I wanted to share something with you. You won't remember me, but I did. I remember the night exactly. And he said, uh, that night I uh, was going to commit suicide and jump over the side of the ship. I'd let, my wife had left me, I'd lost my child, and my life was ruined as far as I was concerned. I went on a romantic cruise alone and was gonna jump overboard in Alaska. And he said, but you wouldn't stop talking. And you kept talking about magic and told jokes. And next thing I knew, it was way too early in the morning and too bright, and I, I couldn't do it. He said, and uh, I'm glad I didn't. Instead, I went home and I got that book you recommended. It was The Royal Road to Card Magic. And he said, and I learned a few card tricks. And I was in a bagel shop, and I showed this cute redhead a card trick, and she thought I was pretty impressive. And it turned out she was from Ireland. He said, I went to join her in Ireland. We're getting married and I'm just inviting you to the wedding, I'm telling you, you had a part in it. I did the hard work, but you had a part in it. And I think about that and how that moment changed a person's life forever, and I was oblivious to it, completely oblivious. How many times do magicians change people's lives in what they say or what they do and how they perform their magic? And we never know.